Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is your weather content for Sunday, September 20th. And good news, uh, Tropical Storm Beta isn't showing any chances for hurricane anymore. So that's a good thing. And I do have your update on your Hurricane Teddy. I will show you that as well. Now, the expected slow motion of Beta will produce a long-duration rainfall event from the middle Texas coast to southern Louisiana. Flash flooding, urban flooding, and river flooding is likely. Uh, rainfall will then spread northward into the lower Mississippi River uh, Valley by midweek, where flash flooding, urban flooding, and river flooding is possible. Uh, there is the danger of life-threatening storm surge near times of high tide through Tuesday along portions of the Texas and Louisiana coast within the storm surge warning areas. Now, residents in these areas should follow advice given by their local officials, of course. Uh, tropical storm force winds are occurring along portions of the northwestern Gulf Coast within a tropical storm warning area in Louisiana. These winds will spread westward to the Texas coast later today and Monday. Now, this is your probability of tropical storm force winds. And I'm showing that right here in lower Texas that you have actually a, a up to a 50 to 60 percent chance of tropical storm force winds. And Louisiana, you actually don't have much. You've got a 30 percent chance along the, the Gulf Coast, and that is it. And as you can see, the track does not show hurricane anymore. And when I check the models, hurricane intensity is not there, guys. Matter of fact, we're lucky if we get 50 miles per hour wind gust out of this thing, and that's about as much as I see. Uh, come Monday, 1 a.m. is still a tropical storm. Tuesday, 1 a.m. is still a tropical storm. And come Wednesday, 1 a.m., it will be a tropical depression. That's from NOAA uh, giving an official forecast for it. Now, for Hurricane Teddy, the center of Teddy is forecast to move east of Bermuda late Sunday or Monday. Tropical storm conditions are likely on the island beginning this evening and could continue into Monday evening. Uh, Teddy is expected to transition to a powerful post-tropical cyclone as it moves near or over portions of Atlantic Canada early next week. Uh, where there is an increasing risk of a direct impacts from the wind, rain, and storm surge. Residents there in Canada should closely monitor the progress of Teddy and updates to the forecast. Uh, excuse me. Large swells produced by Teddy are expected to affect portions of the Leeward Islands, the Greater Antilles, the Bahamas, Bermuda, the East Coast of the United States, and Atlantic Canada during the next few days. These swells could cause life-threatening uh, surf and rip current conditions, so be careful if you're going to be near the coast. Now, as far as uh, Teddy's tropical storm force winds probabilities, I show that Maine only has a little 10% chance. Uh, as you get up towards uh, Nova Scotia and up here in New Brunswick, New Brunswick only goes up to a 10 to 20 tops. Uh, Nova Scotia, you go up to a 40 Almost a 50% chance for tropical storm force winds. That's it. That's all I'm showing. And as far as hurricane force winds, I'm showing that Nova Scotia only has a 5% chance of hurricane force winds. So that's really good. As a matter of fact, it's expected to go down to tropical storm come Tuesday. I'm sorry, come Wednesday at 2 a.m. for Nova Scotia. You will be feeling them effects. And then again on Thursday at 2 a.m., it will be a tropical storm still for the guys up there uh, in the north. Now, the two models I'm going to show you is the Euro High Resolution and the GFS. That's the two that had discrepancies the whole time. Now, as we go through every six hour of these models, you'll see exactly what's going on uh, with this storm and the pressure that it has. Now, let me go through it with you real quick so you can see. This is your 12 hour. Yes, this is your 12 hour. And this is about the strongest uh, as far as the millibars that they get. Uh, I'm, I'm not showing that this thing grows much strength at all. It starts weakening from here, matter of fact, guys. So as it gets closer towards Texas, you'll see that the millibars don't get below 998 ever again. They stay, matter of fact, around 1,000 the whole time. Uh, now, it's going to be a rain event because I do show for about 12 to 18 hours. It will circle around uh, right here on, on the east coast of Texas for about 12 to 18 hours of rainfall. So be aware of that. Now, as we go through the GFS model, you'll see every six hours, the same thing. Uh, 997, and then it goes to 1001. So it weakens immediately. Only thing is GFS does show that it does strengthen back just a little bit to 998. 
but it don't it don't get strong. I, I'm I'm showing it's lucky if it holds on to tropical storm force winds. Uh, it was barely in the in the for, low 40s, and then there you go at 996, and that gets up to 50 something miles per hour when I checked on the wind barbs, and that was like a, a slight moment. I'll show you that on WSV3 as well. And it goes down to 998, and then it starts weakening. But I keep showing you these models after that because it somewhat stays a low pressure as it heads towards Louisiana, but it's not any threat. It don't have much rain left to it. It don't have much wind uh, left to it. And it just wants to stay a system until it finally does disappear and go off. But it's not going to bring any problems uh, into Louisiana except for the rain that you're getting all day today and all afternoon tonight from this system. Now, as far as uh, Hurricane Teddy, when it gets towards the coast, you'll notice that the waves get about 20 feet when you get towards Nova Scotia. But as far as anybody over here on the East Coast, I mean, you can sit here and say, oh, wow, look, 50-foot waves. But if you actually zoom in to the edge of the coast, you will see that it's only 6 to 8-foot waves that are affecting. Okay. Now, it does get a little bit closer uh, as the time goes by, and I'm going to play this for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me bring it right back. There we go. <laughs> Boy, I really lost my spot for a second. All right, let me back this up so you can see what I mean. Because it, I'm not showing that it's going to be, uh, other than rip tides and those kind of obvious problems, I'm not showing it's going to be a big uh, wave event. Now, as it gets to where you see there's just a six, eight foot waves. And then when you press play and go another day or so, uh, you'll see that it gets close to the coast right there. And that gets up to about 12 foot waves, 11 foot waves when you get to the coast. But it goes away just as quick as it came in. And then boom, it's gone. So the biggest, hardest part of this is going to be Nova Scotia and as it goes up towards uh, the rest of Canada. Now, if you look on the GFS, I have it on wind gusts, so you can see the maximum winds that you're going to get uh, out of this storm. And in all the greens, just so you know, all the greens is just in the 20s. Uh, that's pretty high high breeze you got there. Uh, when you get a tropical storm, it's going to be a, a dark orange. Now, this red is, is 50s. Now, I'm, I'm showing you that because there is a section that will get 50 miles per hour wind gust. That's where you saw the GFS model get down to 998 millibars. That was the strongest it had the whole time but as you can see nobody's getting much nothing this is going to be a rain event uh, now right there is your worst and your strongest that you will have uh, this is on the 21st this is tomorrow around noon to 2 p.m and the dark orange is in the 40s the the red is in the 50s and then it's on the edge of 50 it's not even getting there but you'll see that it goes away just as quick as it came in and then you're just dealing with 30s from the rest of the high 30s because this orange is tropical storm uh, force winds and it's high 30s to very low 40s if any and they're not going to stick around long at all if you can watch it you'll see that as you get into the next day at 2 2 3 a.m they're gone these are 20 miles an hour winds they're high 20s but they're 20 miles an hour winds and it will dissipate so yay uh beta is not going to be a hurricane it's not going to be a, a big event as far as uh hurricane uh, smashing people it is going to be a rain event now, i'm showing you will have about 18 hours of rain that you will be dealing with over there on the eastern uh, side of texas so be careful of that please and watch out for flash flooding because y'all have so, so much cement on the ground that the water would not soak in as a matter of fact it's just going to flood up now as you know every morning i always follow along with the great book of the bible and yesterday we left off on genesis 8 so today i'm going to read to you Genesis 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea, and to your hands are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meant for you. Even as the green herb have I given you all things, but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives 
will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God, man he made. And you be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you, and with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl of the cattle and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there be any any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh. And all the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it. And I will remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is a father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine, and he was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, and they, they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his, young, young, what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the, in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years. And all the days of Noah were 950 years. And he died. Amen. So God bless y'all today. I hope y'all have a great Sunday today. It, it is a beautiful weather today. Matter of fact, the only weather I'm showing is this beta storm that Louisiana and Texas is going to be dealing with. Uh, Mississippi, you might see a little overflow of the rain come on to y'all. But once again, yay, this is not going to be a hurricane. So that's good news. Hope y'all have a great day today. All glory goes to God.